Donald Trump's other tsunami canoes release sanctions to Nubu's government. Siri fact about shocking video report. Interested? Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for stopping by. A viral video circulating online claims to show newly elected U.S. President Donald Trump ordering the release of Namdi Kano. Namdi Kano is the detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipo, and vowing to sanction Nigerians' government. However, fact checking reveals this video to be AI generated and entirely fabricated, really. The video, predominantly shared among Biafra supporters, appears convincing at first. Glance with Trump seemingly addressing his supporters about Nigerian situation yet, upon closer inspection, in circumstances and red flags arise. No reputable media athletes have reported on or published this video raising concern, suspicions about the authenticity. Further investigation confirms that the video is in fact fake. This incident highlights the dangers of misinformation and the pivotal role fact-checking plays in maintaining a well-informed public. Namdi Kano's ongoing detention and trial have sparked in, intense debate and international attention. Authentic, authentic development surrounding this curse should be verified through credible sources to prevent the, the spread of misinformation. Anyway, before we, we keep on going on and on, the truth remains that people are not happy with the way Mazin and the Kano is being treated. And that is why you see, you know, things like this. He's just telling you, you know, what people are, you know, imagining how we this can be. But don't also forget that organizing people have asked Igbo leaders to push to that Trump for Mazinam this canon's release. They understand. So it's not just that maybe this is just coming out, coming up, maybe because of the way people are really taking Donald Trump like no nonsense person. Like when he said, he, say, he told uh, Donald, um, Bullock Jonathan, when he congratulated him, he said, see, Nigerian election, we are going to make sure that we sensitize Nigerian uh, um, electoral system. He said that you get. So people are just like expecting more from him. These are what is paining people. I wish this person can help us to solve this problem. Meanwhile, Aloy Ejimako, who is the lead counsel for Nandi Kano, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, on Thursday said, President Bola Metinubu and the Attorney General of the Federation, AGF Latif, can restore the bill granted to the Biafra agitator. Ejimako based his call on the December 2023 Supreme Court judgment, which found it wrong to have revoked the bill granted to Kano by the Federal High Court. So citing Section 287, one in bracket, of the Nigerian constitution, Ijimakot stated that Tinubu and Latif Femi do not need any further court order to revoke Kanu's bill. Well, uh, he's no longer uh, uh, shocking that the Nigerian government really do not want Enam the Kanu to be released. That is the truth. They do not want him to be released. Their reasons are best known to them, but these their reasons is actually causing problems because you cannot go against the law of the land. We have constitutions, you obey court orders. Now Nigeria here now will not say the government is not the obey court orders. You get DSS don't join, the police don't join. In fact, all of them, 
you get. They are looking down on us today before the international community because of this. Now the question is, is self-determination is a crime in Nigeria constitution? That is one. Okay, the question, another question now is that, was this man not released by a, a, a court of competent jurisdiction? So why is he here? So there are so many questions need, you know, urgent answers concerning this Mazen Namdekano. Continued detention by the Nigerian government. So guys, I'm dropping it here. Kindly drop your comment below the comment section. Please don't forget to share this video. Subscribe to this channel if you have not.